Hey everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a couple of cards using the February stamp of the month called Springtime Borders. Okay, so this is the stamp set and it has lots of spring icons in borders. So you can use them on scrapbook pages and on cards. Okay, so I'm also going to use fancy brackets and let's get started. So I have a piece of white daisy cardstock and I'm going to do rainbow colors. So I have grape to start with. And I have this rainbow stamp on my block here. And I'm just going to stamp rows of rainbows. Okay, so I'm going to start at the bottom with grape. Make sure it's inked up completely. And then I'll stamp that down. And pretty soon I'll speed up the video. Next color is bluebird. So you can get this stamp set for $5 with any $50 purchase during the month of February. Or if you're a VIP, you can get it for free with any $50 purchase, but only during the month of February. Okay. So I'm going to stagger the next stamp, sort of like a checkerboard. And then I'll stagger back. So the next color is clover. And then lemonade. Going with bright rainbow, traditional rainbow colors. And then the next color is Nectarine. And then the last color is Candy Apple. We have rows of brightly colored rainbows for the background of my card. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring in a piece of Seabrook cardstock and I'm going to stamp this uh, butterfly stamp. It's a line drawing of butterflies. And again, I'm going to stagger them. And I'm doing tone on tone Seabrook ink on the light side of Seabrook. So it's just a, a nice subtle background. So I'm going to add my sentiment using the stamp set called Change the World. And this is the Operation Smile stamp set that's available all year. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says, thank you for being the reason I smile right in the center. And then off camera, I will die cut the fancy bracket. This is the smaller one out. Okay, now we have the components for our card. So my base is going to be black. And then I trimmed down my uh, rainbow panel. And so I needed, uh, well, I felt like I needed another mat. So I cut a piece of Seabrook so that it has it starts with black, and then Seabrook, and then my rainbow panel. And for a little extra bling, I've, I'm going to add a strip of black shimmer trim. Okay, so I'm just putting everything together using Tombow Tape Runner. So then we'll have that border of Seabrook. And then I'll add my black shimmer trim. And I'm going to pop my sentiment bracket with some thin foam tape. Clean and simple, not a ton of embellishments, but lots of bright, fun colors. Okay, so that's my finished card for the first one. And here's some close up shots. Super fun ink and paper. Okay, let's make another one. So this time I'm going to use the stamp set that is called Now and Forever and it's available until the end of February. So I've got my heart border stamp from the stamp of the month loaded onto my block and I'm going to stamp multiple hearts all over my background. So I have the light side of Ballerina Cut it four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp in raspberry. So I'm stamping down and then I'm staggering the heart. And then I'll stagger back. And then I'll continue on until that whole panel's covered. Okay, so now I have 
the regular size or side, the regular side of um, ballerina, the darker color. And I'm going to cut this uh, doily heart out. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says love you more in black ink. And then in the background, I'm going to use this rose and heart stamp from the Now and Forever set. And I'm going to stamp tone on tone with ballerina ink, just so it's got some subtle uh, interest in the background of that heart. And design's going to be basically the same as the other one. So I have a strip of black glitter trim, shimmer trim. <laughs> Having a hard time with my words today. And i um, just going to put that black panel down and then my stamped panel. And then I'll add my shimmer trim. And then I'm going to pop that heart with some thin foam tape. And then for the last touch, I'm going to add a paperboard heart embellishment with a glue dot. So all these supplies can currently be found in my online store. I'll make a list with links in the description below and you can do a little shopping. And again, this stamp of the month is available until the end of February. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And then you'll be able to find all of my videos. And I have quite a few in the library there. So here's some close-up shots of that other card with the border stamps. Super fun. And thanks for watching.